chapter 10 recording and communicating knowledge get set do you still remember the alphabet of the languages you know hindi and english take a test of yourself knowledge is the primary factor that clearly distinguishes the human race from the animals it has enabled us make all the advancements in the science and technology spheres that we have been able to achieve it has made us far more capable superior and sophisticated beings on this earth exchange of knowledge is important in our life as our lives depend upon the information about variety of subjects knowledge is exchanged in two different ways by speaking orally or by writing long ago in ancient india knowledge was passed orally from generation to generation it was not recorded in written form because of this knowledge was communicated to a very few people this may also have resulted in the loss of knowledge writing is a way of recording or storing words and ideas people can read them at any time and at any place gradually better methods of recording and communicating knowledge came into place earliest forms of written communication the earliest form of written communication was through pictures and symbols this type of writing is called pictograph in the beginning man made these symbols as he perceived the things for example he drew almost a horse when he drew a symbol for a horse it was difficult to draw these pictures so he started to simplify these signs and symbols he used lines crosses or circles for different features and then for whole things for example he drew one line to say one and two lines to say two it was also the time he was learning to discover language he tried to attribute sounds to these pictures and symbols pictures mainly of animals have been discovered in caves in which early humans lived this also helped in the development of writing and speech but making pictures took a long time gradually the pictures were replaced by signs and symbols as man lived in small groups the members of one group drew specific signs and symbols which were often different from those of the other group as there was little interaction between them this was how different scripts and different languages came into being the sumerian system of writing the sumerians of mesopotamia now iraq were the first to develop a system of writing called a script using signs over 5000 years ago they wrote their signs in blocks of clay called tablets many of these tablets have been discovered the egyptians developed a script using pictures and symbols about 5000 years ago the chinese and japanese scripts are based on pictures and symbols even today the sumerian system of writing the chinese system of writing the oldest script in india was discovered in the seas of the indus valley civilization no one yet been able to read the script later the brahmi and other scripts were discovered most scripts which are used to write in the languages today have been derived from the brahmi script the devanagari script was used to write hindi and some other indian languages the indus system of writing the brahmi system of writing most languages today use the system of the alphabets alphabets are nothing but symbols representing different sounds that human produce the first proper alphabet system to be used was probably in syria about 3500 years ago about 50 different alphabet systems are used in the world today the roman alphabet which is used to write the english language has 26 letters writing numbers Numbers are very important in your life. You need them when you want to divide the candies with your friend or when you want to compare your marks with those of your friends. Early man too needed the knowledge of numbers, but he did not have it. When he plucked fruits or tamed animals with his community members, he needed to divide among them. These were like his assets. He also wanted to know that all those animals he possessed were still with him, so he needed to count and keep a record. but he did not know counting in the beginning early man started to keep one pebble or twig for each animal if he had more than one type of animal or thing he kept different things for example a pebble for a goat and a twig for a cow 
Soon he thought that he could draw lines or circles on the grounds or rocks. Sometimes he attributed a sign for a group of animals or things, for example a cross for three or four. He also used his fingers for counting. He faced problem when he had a large number of things or animals. He gradually developed signs for things, animals and numbers. It took a very long time for him to develop some uniform symbols like circle, cross, triangle or square etc. Different groups developed different signs and symbols. This was how numbers were written in different ways in different languages. The Romans developed a system of writing numbers in which seven symbols were used to write numbers. The common system of writing numbers were used in most parts of the world today in the Hindu-Arabic system. The system was developed in India more than 2000 years ago. The Arabs took it to Europe. The beauty of the system is that it uses only 10 symbols from 0 to 9 to represent any number no matter how large it is. Roman English Hindi Paper The early man used to write on cave walls, ground, stones or tree stems. This way, he was not able to carry his written record with him. He then used leaves or animal skin for this purpose. This is how they keep their record before the invention of paper. About 4,000 years ago, the ancient Egyptians used the stem of plant called papyrus to make paper. The name paper is derived from papyrus. They peeled the plant and pressed it hard to make flat sheets of paper. A Chinese man making paper. True, paper as we know it today was first made by Chinese about 2000 years ago. It was probably made from the bark of trees. The bark was made into pulp and then spread out in thin sheets and left to dry. The quality was rough yet, but it was a better form of paper. Today, modern machines are used to manufacture paper. The paper mills use wood, pulp, clay and other substances to manufacture paper of different types. The Art of Printing Paper was invented before printing. Earlier books had to be written by hand on paper. The people who used to write the copies of the books were called as copywriters. This copying required much time. This was slow and laborious also. Books were therefore very rare. They were only available to a few people. Moreover, the copywriter often committed errors in copying. So different copies of a book had variations in writings. Printing was developed in China about 2000 years ago. The Chinese cut designs on the flat block of wood. Ink was applied on the block and it was pressed on paper. Thus, an impression of the design was made on paper. This method was used by the Chinese to print books. Thus, the block took a long time to make several copies of a book that could be made from it. In the year 1455, John Gutenberg of Germany brought about a revolution in printing. He made several small metal types which were fixed on the molds. These could be arranged to form words, lines and pages. This was called typesetting. Ink was applied to the typeset pages and they were pressed on paper to get the impression. Once a book was printed, the individual types were taken apart and used to print another book. Putting together the types to make a page of a book was much faster and easier than making a block of the page. Books could now be printed much faster and in larger numbers. After this, the printing press was invented by which the molds were pressed on paper. This enabled a large number of books to be published. The Bible was the first book to be printed. In the beginning, sheepskin was used in place of paper, but later, paper was found to be more convenient. Earlier, the printing press was operated by manpower, but gradually, electricity was introduced. This technique is still used, but with the advent of modern technology, it has declined to a great extent. The printing press was the primary idea on which the idea of modern printing technology is based. In the beginning of the printing press, it took a long time to produce a few books. With modern printing machines, a very large number of copies in different sizes and colors can be printed in a small time.
the computer has greatly helped in further augmenting the quality of printing and designing. Laser scanning, electronic and offset printing etc. have made books a common commodity. You can find books on the internet, many of which are free of cost. These books are called e-books. If you write a book, you can put it up online for readers. Those who cannot read books or who have no time to read books, they can listen to books as they are now available in electronic devices. Such books are called talking books. Braille, a script for the blind. We read with our eyes, but how would a visually challenged person read? A special script called Braille allows a person who cannot see to read a book using his or her fingers. The script was developed by Louis Braille in France. In Braille, the letters of each word are printed in patterns of small dots. These dots are raised from the surface of the paper so that the visually challenged person can feel them with the fingers. Braille is read by lightly running their fingers on along these dots. This proved to be a great gift for the blind people. Presently, a large number of books are published in the Braille script. A person without sight reading using Braille. Knowledge, Literacy and Progress For a country to make progress, it is important that knowledge to be communicated to a large number. This is possible only if most people in country can read and write. Literacy is therefore the key to progress. Unfortunately, in India, large number of people still cannot read and write. Quick Review Knowledge is exchanged in two different ways, by speaking or by writing. The earliest form of written communication was through pictures and symbols. The oldest script in India was discovered in the seals of the Indus Valley Civilization. The Devanagari script was used to write Hindi and some other Indian languages. About 4,000 years ago, the ancient Egyptians used the stem of plant called papyrus to make paper. Printing was developed in China about 2000 years ago. The Bible was the first book to be printed. Presently, a large number of books are published in the Braille script.